Many people will talk about New Orleans as being the cradle of American jazz. But they will also talk about Richmond, Indiana being the cradle of recorded American jazz because of the Jeanette Studios. A unique aspect about the Basile Wallop Jazz Orchestra, and especially with Brent's writing, is that he gets people in the band for the way they play or their sound. And so much like Duke Ellington, Duke Ellington didn't necessarily write for first alto, he wrote for Johnny Hodges. He didn't write for Barry Sachs, he wrote for Harry Carney. And Brent very much knows the strengths and the weaknesses of, of everybody's playing, so when he writes a a trumpet part, it's not just trumpet three, it's going to be Mark Baselli. You know, it's written for him. Brent Wallerab has really done something extraordinary with this Jeanette Suite that he wrote. The way he has taken the themes from these historic recordings and woven them into an original composition is really a work of art. It's stunning what he has done. The magic is coming from everywhere. If we look at this as a jazz potluck, you know, this is Brent's house, but everybody's bringing a passing dish. And everybody's bringing their personality to the music. Everybody's bringing some thoughts or some imagination to the music. He's taken these themes, pulled out these ideas, these, you know, and germs of ideas, and he's woven them into a tapestry that creates something entirely new, something entirely contemporary, modern, that is a complete reimagining of this music. It's given it a new life that nobody ever imagined before he created it.